Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, this is exciting, 2021. I think we're all very happy and very hopeful to kick 2020 to the side and just move on like a crashed airplane. Just know you can't repair. So let's all forget about it, it never happened. And let's have some fun in 2021. Today I'm gonna to fly my Turbo Timber. I maidened it in 20, nope, that didn't happen. So we're actually remaking it today. We're just gonna have fun. I'm gonna fly a pack through it today. Probably just one, cause it's really cold out. And while I'm flying, here's the big news for the channel. This is what 21, 2021 has to offer already. Can you guys tell a difference in the video so far? If not, we'll talk about it while we fly. Let's put it in the air and have some fun. So the Turbo Timber for me so far is uh, an awesome, what I like to call everyday flyer. If you want to, you can fly it kind of like a scale trainer. And uh, it also is super, super fast on these flybys. So we're gonna do that, test the fast flyby. And it's a good sporty flyer too. Here we go, fast flyby, full throttle. Ah, not that smooth because I had safe on and I forgot. But fast and really fun. Uh, so if you haven't noticed yet, I'm just gonna putz <laughs> around for about a minute here. Um I'm just fiddling around. This is on the job training here, you guys. Yes, <laughs> with you. You guys are helping us in 2021, bringing in the new year in 4K. <laughs> so if you haven't noticed, you can click the little gear in the bottom corner of YouTube and hopefully your internet's fast enough and you've got a 4K monitor. If not, that's okay, that's okay. We're gonna be able to do some other fun things with it for everybody that's still on 1080p. Look, Abby and I, up until today, have never had anything or done anything in 4k i've never gamed in 4k i've never uh, watched anything at my house in 4k we don't have any 4k monitors or anything until now so this should be a really fun year for airplanes uh, to do things in what is it 4k there's half flaps so, so I excited. played around with this camera last night for about five or ten minutes <laughs> um, and I have everything on auto right now except for my focus because planes and autofocus just don't they don't mix don't work right um, and honestly right now from my little screen it appears planes and auto coloring don't work out but maybe it will look better once I get it we'll see. on the big screen so if things don't look exactly right we're gonna work those kinks out just know that for eight years on YouTube, Abby and, and I have done everything 100% manual. For you camera nerds out there, we are. Uh, that's ISO manual, aperture manual, um, focus of course manual, color, everything. Everything, everything, everything has been uh, a totally manually done. And that, that's hard to do if you are not familiar with cameras. And probably one of the hardest things to record is airplanes. Yeah, That's... and when you're like looking to buy a camera, good luck finding an example of the camera shot of, of a plane flying. Sometimes you can get a bird, but even that is different. Yeah, it's really, really, really difficult to find the right camera setup to do airplanes. And it's taken us a long time to not perfect, but at least get what we had working uh, for us. And now we're changing things and hopefully ultimately for the better plus we wd-40 in my monopod so everything's nice and quiet now. <laughs> i'm excited to watch this back probably more than anybody watching right now i'm very excited to watch this back we're gonna roll it i mean other than Loop. other than like a super bright day this is like worst case scenario filming today like with the gray overcast sky following a white airplane and following a white airplane against it but we thought the wind is low so let's get out there and do it this is what we're all about and and good news for our ground vehicle guys too because we actually have a lot of ground vehicle people that watch the airplane videos just to hang out with us and see what's going on good news for the ground vehicle guys we're 4k on ground vehicles too which is a totally different yeah. camera setup in case you never knew that yeah, I, I upgraded our vlog camera too. So we're hoping, fingers crossed, that we will make progress with this, continue into the new year, everything in 4K. I think somebody came up here to see our new 4K setup. <laughs> uh, no, they're going to the hangar. I'm doing an inverted outside loop there, Abby. Probably missed it, but we got a spot for these things too. 
So we didn't just get a new camera, we got a new lens too. And with that lens, I lost uh, some zoom ability <laughs> than our old ones. Last year we tried to buy a, um, not a DSLR camera, but a... Um, Point and shoot kind of thing? No. Uh, camcorder. Camcorder. With a lot of zoom range. With a, uh, yeah, with a, for our planes. How's that and, close uh, hated it, it, returned it instantly. From what I can tell, it looks pretty good. But, I put it in 4K, but I'm kind of worried about the resolution because it looks kind of small on my camera. Like, okay. like we'll my see. screen. Okay. Hopefully um, it's not. When discussing pricing Sweet. on stuff, I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to our Patreon supporters because what we do is every month with our Patreon funds, we set money aside for different things. We have different categories. Some of it is, most of it is for, you know, product for the channel. Some of it is to keep the lights on with what we do on the channel. Uh, and some of it is for gear. That might be software for editing. That might be new computer stuff. Uh, and this is probably one of the biggest amounts we've had to set aside to make this happen. So over the course of probably like a couple years, you know, we've been setting money aside to make this happen. So it's been a long time coming and we're very excited um, and we thank you very much for that. We'll also sell some of our old camera gear to recoup some of the losses and just what I like to be transparent with people because we have probably, I think, I may be wrong, but I think we have one of the biggest and definitely the best support systems of any RC YouTuber out there and that is the Patreon family that we have. So it means the world to us and you guys, uh, Hopefully, it's paying off. You know, you invest in the channel, we want to reinvest in you guys. I do want to I gotta click land. it in autofocus <laughs> while you're flying, and I just want to see what it does. So it's been a very mild flight, but that's because we're really focusing okay, heavy on this camera. Let's find you. And we didn't want to do this on like a new airplane for the channel or something. Okay, so this is complete autofocus. Let's see what it does. You could do that while, you didn't have to stop filming. I switched it. Wow. <laughs> so. And this is auto. This is all. Let's auto see how it focus. does. I want to do a fast flyby. I want to give it a little run for its money, and I don't want to hurt my battery too hard. Usually, what autofocus does in the Horrible. sky is it just goes completely blurry. You guys would know that, like using your phones and stuff, yeah. trying to film your planes. Oops, sorry, I looked away. So I've been really tame on this battery, so I don't care to push. I'm it actually, a kind more. of surprised. Oh, there it yeah, goes. I figured when it goes far there away, it goes. Really that's, <laughs> Let's see out there. When you have an overcast, it's almost that usually back. helps the autofocus. When you have a clear day, it's always worse. It did go up, blurry. See, I don't like that. When it goes blurry, it just ruins the video. Yeah, we don't do that. No blur here. unless. But I just wanted to try. I'm falling with the camera or something. Because sometimes it's so bright out, it's just impossible to see. So I just wanted to I see how it I figured it did. would not do well. Nothing. No camera in the world can film actually a plane. autofocus. And you know it. You know, if a, if, a, if a person is using autofocus, it just falls out of focus so fast and really bad. You always know. It. There we go. We're down. Doesn't even really focus. A little hop because we had a breeze coming in, but <laughs> I'll take it. Well, there you go. 4K. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can you count the whiskers on Nate's face? Uh, they look frozen probably. It's really cold. I should have brought a coat and really, I didn't think it was this cold out. Oh, tell them one more thing about this camera, Nate. What oh. is also different about this camera than our old camera? Well, it's mirrorless. Yeah. Uh, I assume that's what you're going First for. First mirrorless camera. Yeah, which really doesn't matter too much oh. to us. But, you know. There you go. Isn't that awesome? Uh, Turbo Timber in 4K 2021. Everybody loves the Turbo Timber, right? I don't know anybody that hates this airplane. It's awesome. If you don't have one and you're looking for something. If you saw this video and you're like, that looks like a cool plane. I don't have that plane. Buy it. If you can fly airplanes, buy it. It's a good trainer style plane because it's uh, it's got safe technology and it's huge. It's got the over, just very easy to fly, very docile, but it's also fast if you want to wake it up a little bit. And it's fairly sporty. Surprisingly, in my opinion, not as sporty as the Valiant. Many times I find myself thinking, I kind of wish I was flying the Valiant, but this does a few things that the Valiant does not do. And that's it is a bit faster. It's quite a bit faster. And I, I really enjoy some speed having that option. It's a very versatile airplane is what I'm getting at. So if you if you like it, 
pick one up. We'll have a link in the description box below and just know that those links do help support our channel. They help buy things like the new camera gear. <laughs> Sometimes autofocus is funny. For the channel. Uh, 4K, wow. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Going into 4K is a little bit scary because maybe someone is going to pause the video and count my whiskers. <laughs> Well, at least with this lens, I can't zoom up as close as the last lens. Yeah. Although that le the last lens may reappear. I think I'm gonna send it in, get it cleaned. We'll see. And uh, get an adapter and maybe put it on this camera too. Well, it's exciting news for our channel and hopefully you guys are happy to hear about that and are excited too, because it just means your viewing experience should be even better. Even if you don't have a 4K monitor, again, we can do things in 4K that I could not do with 1080p that you should benefit from. So hopefully you guys enjoy this year of airplanes on our channel I'm very excited and as a matter of fact I've got something that I cannot say what it is yet that I cannot show you but it's sitting over there by the car um, no hints or anything but I think you're gonna like it a lot coming to the channel pretty soon I can't even give you a date or anything but we're gonna use the new camera to film that too that'll be our first new airplane filmed in 4k I think and um, this one, we just wanted to, because we've already flown it on the channel, wanted to kind of test the new camera and see how that went before we jumped into a new airplane. So, new airplane coming to the channel, already lined up, got a, a very cool thing to show you very soon. So if you're not subscribed, this is a very good opportunity to subscribe to our channel. And before I go, I wanna ask you guys, did anybody watch us on AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics? AMA Air. Yeah, we, um, we brought in the new year with you guys on the AMA channel. So that was really fun. I felt honored to be there. I've, I've been an AMA member all of my flying life and for them to reach out and say, hey, uh, would you guys like to bring in the new year with us? <laughs> was like, all right, I feel like I'm doing something with my life. It just feels really <laughs> cool, you know? I'm very flattered and honored and um, I've always just, I've just wanted to enjoy the hobby the way it's meant to be enjoyed in my opinion and that's what we just did. Fly, have fun, be safe, be very courteous of others, don't hurt anybody, don't bring anyone down with what you're doing or any, you know, it's just a good hobby and, and for them to reach out and, and invite us to do that was just a, just a real treat. So if you missed that, you know, it's just us, it's just me and Abby talking about our hobby experiences what AMA like means to us and stuff. So it's nothing that's like um, record setting or anything, but it is a fun time, it's a good time. So if you missed it, we'll have that video uh, linked in the description box below, right by all this good stuff if you wanna pick this airplane up. So all kinds of good things linked in the description box below, and maybe you'll consider being an AMA member if you're not already after you watch that video. It's just a, just a, just a fun thing to do if you're bored and have about a half hour of time. Okay, guys, I'm grateful for today, for this calm wind day to get out here and fly. I'm freezing, I'm super cold, but I'm happy we got out here and got to share this 4K experience with you guys. And for that, take the big guy upstairs. And a very special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters, as I said already in this video, but I, I gotta say thanks again because we're gonna do this. These big upgrades, I've wanted to tell you guys for a while, but we've been working on it. We thank our Patreon supporters for that. You guys are the best. All of you patrons especially, let us know. Give us some feedback in the comments below. How did it look? We, we can't make improvements without feedback, so let us have it. Thanks a lot for watching. I don't have anything I want to have popping up right now because it just reminds me of last year. No, I'm joking. We'll have a good one popping up right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in that video. Bye!